Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to talk about a powerful indicator on TradingView that is a perfect tool for evaluating momentum. To add this wonderful indicator to our chart, here we click on indicators and we search Firefly. This one, Firefly Oscillator, which is written by Lazy Bear. All right, this is the indicator, and as you can see, it's added here below the chart. It's actually an oscillator, and as you can see, it's oscillating above and below the center line, which is 50. Its appearance and the way it shows us momentum change is a kind of similar to MACD histogram, but it's totally different. So this is not another version of MACD, and it's a different indicator. When the histogram is above 50, it shows us that the upside momentum is greater than the downside momentum. And and when the histogram is below 50, it shows that downside momentum is greater than upside momentum. And the histogram changes color depending on the strength or weakness of the momentum. When it's above 50 and green, it tells us that the upside momentum is gaining strength and the price is strongly advancing. But when it becomes orange, it shows that the upside momentum is weakening and the downside momentum is gaining strength. But as long as the histogram is above 50, buyers have the upper hand. And on the other hand, when the histogram is below 50 and red, it shows us that the downside momentum is gaining strength and the price is declining strongly. But when it becomes orange, it tells us that the downside momentum is weakening. But as long as the histogram is below 50, sellers have the upper hand. So when the histogram becomes orange, it shows that the momentum in the prior direction is weakening. But as you probably realize, this weakness doesn't necessarily mean that a reversal is going to happen in the direction of the market. And many of the times, they just show a pullback or just a small pause within the trend and even we may get a deeper pullback like here so we may have a small green histogram and then it reverses back down and similarly in uptrends like here where because of the deep pullback we got a histogram below 50 and then it reverses back up and so the price advanced more so these color changing of the histogram are perfect signals that can be used in trend following strategies where we try to identify pullbacks and and end of the pullbacks to enter a trade in the current direction of the market. And another signal that this indicator gives us is center line crossover. Although some center line crossovers like this one can show a reversal in the direction of the market, but others may not, like this upside center line crossover, that yeah, the market didn't change its direction after that. As you probably realized by now, only the crossovers that are in the direction of the current trend are profitable for trading. So when the market is in an uptrend, we should take bullish centerline crossovers. And when the market is in a downtrend, we should take bearish centerline crossovers. So here also these centerline crossovers are perfect signals that can be used in trend following strategies for entering in the direction of the current trend. Another use case of this oscillator is identifying overbought and oversold conditions. You can use fixed levels like 20 and 80, or you can use proper levels based on historical performance. But I don't recommend you to use this indicator for identifying overbought and oversold conditions because this is an unbounded indicator and we have much better indicators for this purpose like RSI. And you can also identify divergences between price and this oscillator but again not very good with divergences and most of the time they just show a pullback and other indicators like RSI, MACD, Stochastic they are much better choices when it comes to identify divergences based on momentum changing. The best signals that you can get from this indicator are are the momentum changing based on the histogram and it's crossing above and below the center line which as I explained earlier can provide you good trading opportunities in the direction of the trend or you can even use for exiting your position when you see the momentum is weakening. This indicator is very powerful in showing momentum changing in any direction but it doesn't mean that you can take your trading decisions only based on this indicator and like any other indicators or tools you must use this indicator in conjunction with other indicators and as aspects of technical analysis. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new videos. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.